Well, I suppose it's it's based upon uh, my experience uh, as a soldier over the last um, 40 years, or the 40 years before I came here. Um, more recently, that's been in Afghanistan and Iraq in terms of the operational theatres. And inevitably, as a soldier, you're focused on the practicalities of military intervention. But it's against the backdrop of the very human cost of the absence of peace. Uh, and in both Iraq and, Af and Afghanistan, that human cost was everywhere. It was visible, um, it was tangible, and as a, as a father uh, and a family man, I think that was the stimulus and the motivation towards trying to do the very best that you could in the circumstance that you found yourself in. How do you make that experience relevant to everyday life? Because is peace important in everyday life as well? It is, and I think the, the, the Rotary programme is... Um, quite right in focusing not only on the international aspects of peace but also on the internal domestic uh, importance of peace and of course that is uh, in relation to the challenges facing young people of which I, thought, I think we're all very aware in our island community but also in the interaction between elements of society our immigrant populations making sure that all of that works and it doesn't do so without a great deal of thought and hard work. And as I said to some of the, uh, the young people, peace is an abstract concept and therefore everybody can agree that peace is a good thing. The more difficult aspect is working out how you deliver it, what the tools that you can bring to bear, where you can gain traction, how you can get cooperation between the various um, instruments uh, to hand, that's both domestically and internationally. And that's what I think the whole of this year will address. And I, I think it's a really, really exciting prospect. And I also congratulate Rotary on uh, getting to grips with an, an abstract uh, concept and trying to translate that into practical measures and uh, indeed understanding, particularly amongst the young. You used a quote there when you gave your speech. W what was that quote? The quote uh, was from uh, one made by uh, President Kennedy to the United Nations in 1963 and he said, peace is a daily, weekly, monthly process, gradually changing opinions slowly eroding old barriers, quietly building new structures. And the point I made, that that was true 50 years ago, it will also be true in 50 years time and 50 years beyond that because the delivery of peace is a never ending business. Uh, and indeed the young people who are here today, some of them are um, 15, 16, when they're as old as me, they will still be uh, grappling with the issues that deliver peace. Do you ever see a world where there won't be conflict? Uh, I see a world where we have a better understanding of the way in which we can deal with it, the causes of it, and, uh, and that's true both internationally and domestically. I can see that, and uh, I think that initiatives such as this Rotary Programme will help deliver that.